had an atheist birthday and my family, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren put together an album and they all wrote messages, some printed and some handwriting. And on my birthday, I was able to read everything in the album. And two months later, I couldn't read any of the handwritten stuff. I had to give up work because I was writing books and you can't do that unless you can see freely. Um, I was really a bit disgusted and a bit desperate actually. When I got the diagnosis, my eyesight had already deteriorated very quickly. I was very unhappy about it because they explained to me at the time that there are two kinds, dry and the wet, and the wet is curable but goes more quickly, and the dry is not curable and goes slowly. But that wasn't what had happened with me. It had happened very quickly when I was extremely keen to do anything at all that might stop this process because I was, actually, to be honest, now I think about it, I was very frightened. I thought I might be turning blind because in the space of two or three months, the change was dramatic and I, I was extremely worried and I was ready to do anything. First of all, he told me it was a new research program. The aim was to try and slow down or maybe even stop the degenerative process. I asked about the operation itself. It was done with a local anaesthetic. I had had a couple of cataract operations and he said he didn't think that the actual operation was hugely worse than that, which it wasn't. I had no pain and no discomfort after the operation. I thought it was an amazing thing. I think it's probably the medicine of the future. And to be part of it was very exciting. I remember saying to Professor Bonin, I very, very much hope I'll get help from it. In the three years since I've had the operation, the eye that was operated on has not deteriorated, which is, I reckon it's probably almost miraculous. It's, uh, it's really amazing. I mean, I can't imagine what my life would have been like if my eye had continued to deteriorate. What an iPad. And one of my grandsons made me a table with a gadget on it so I can hold the iPad very near so I can still do the internet and Google and e you know email, but I do them a bit more slowly than I used to do them. Um, I read Kindle, I uh, call up English textbooks, English uh, novels and stuff and through Kindle. I, I run my house myself. I go to the market on public transportation. If I have to cross a busy road, I ask people if I can cross together with them because that's something that would just be silly to do myself. In the three years since the operation, very little has actually changed. Very little has changed. I'm not doing anything differently from what I did when I had the operation. In other words, nothing has got worse. I tell everyone about it. I tell everyone how happy I am and wonderful it is that things haven't got worse. And really, it wasn't a difficult operation at all. And I, I'm quite happy to tell the whole world about it. I think it's, I think it's amazing. I hope that they will have a lot of success with this particular operation and that one day they'll move a step further, maybe they'll catch it earlier and, and even one day achieve a cure. I'm enormously grateful for the opportunity that I had. I'm also very grateful for being part of something special and I have no words to thank the department here for how wonderful they've been. And for anyone who's made it possible, and may lots more people enjoy the benefits that I've enjoyed.